Blood clots are responsible for a number of serious and often fatal conditions. These include venous thromboembolism, stroke resulting from atrial fibrillation, and heart attack. In venous thromboembolism, a blood clot forms in a vein, usually deep inside the leg. The clot can cause swelling and pain. This condition is called deep vein thrombosis. If part of the clot breaks away, it can travel through the blood vessels, up to the heart, and from the heart, out into the lungs. Once in the lungs, the detached piece of clot can block one of the pulmonary blood vessels. When this happens, no blood can reach the area of the lung beyond the blockage, and so no oxygen will be collected from this region. This is called a pulmonary embolism, a serious and potentially life-threatening condition. Atrial fibrillation is a major risk factor for stroke because it results in the heart beating abnormally. This encourages turbulent blood flow, allowing clots to form where the flow is slow or stagnant. If some or all of a clot then travels from the heart to the brain, it can result in a stroke. Because clots arising from atrial fibrillation can be quite large, the resulting stroke is often very serious or even fatal. In a heart attack, a clot in one of the coronary arteries blocks blood flow to the muscles of the heart, depriving them of oxygen and nutrients. The burden of death and disability arising from these conditions is appalling. Venous thromboembolism kills twice as many people every year in Europe as breast cancer, prostate cancer, AIDS and traffic accidents combined. Patients who suffer a stroke as a result of atrial fibrillation have a 1 in 2 chance of dying within a year of the event. A heart attack is the main event that makes up acute coronary syndrome, or ACS. Even with current therapeutic approaches, there remains a 10% risk of a further heart attack, stroke or death within a year of the first event. So what can we do to prevent these deadly consequences of a blood clot?